Hi, my name is Madison Willis. I'm a civic communication major, and I'm going to be presenting my capstone about Parkland Community Center. So why this project? Well, I am a civic communications student, and for the entirety of my college career, I have worked for the Center for Community Engagement and Service. And I've been a local ambassador this semester, which in this position, I've been able to witness the benefits and disadvantages of living in Parkland, Washington. So when I wanted to come up with a topic with what I wanted to do for my capstone, I wanted it to be community focused. And a project only seemed to be the logical option because I didn't find a paper to be satisfying my vision. So after committing to a project, I knew I had to do some digging and narrow my scope down for my project. And I found that this community lacks a community center. So why Parkland? Well, Parkland is actually a unincorporated suburb of Pierce County, which means that Parkland is not a centralized government. It does not have its own centralized government. And because of that, it lacks certain community resources that other cities have access to. More specifically, Parkland is actually Parkland Spanaway Midland. And according to the 2018 Washington State Reporting System, Parkland is considered an in-need designation as the average family income falls 4.3% under the poverty line, which is pretty expensive. So we all know Parkland, but we all, there are some uh, things that Parkland has, Parkland has access to, such as a Sprinker Recreation Center. But this space is only a re recreation center. It is not a community center. It places a monetary value on its entry. So you, when you go to Sprinkler Recreation Center, you're meeting, you're socializing, but you have to pay 10 bucks sometimes on a bad day. I do believe it's about 15 for your shoes and entry just for a few hours, which means that Parkland doesn't have a free space for, stu uh, for people and its member and its community members to meet and socialize. So I decided to build a community center, except building a community center is pretty darn hard. <laughs> so I narrowed that scope into creating a governmental proposal to give to Pierce County membership to potentially create a community center. So after doing all of that work to narrow down my scope and narrow down what I wanted to do, I now have a proposal, but who am I addressing this to? Well, Douglas J. Richardson, this lovely guy. He is actually the chairman of uh, Pierce County uh, City Government, and he is one of the council members of District 6, which is the Parkland Midland Spanaway sector. So I will be tailoring my proposal for the specifically District 6 council membership, but in more, more specific, I will be uh, sending my proposal and I've addressed my proposal to Douglas J. G. Richardson. And in this proposal, I will lay out why Parkland um, needs the benefits of a community center, where the community center will be, who's going to fund this community center and how much community center support, uh, support would we find in the community. But first off, let's start with the benefits. Community centers are amazing and here's why. First off, you will have a reduction in juvenile dev deviancy. Community centers provide after-school programming roughly between six, uh, 3 and 6 p.m., which is the times between uh, that Adults usually come back from work, usually uh, in that time period. So uh, providing a community center that has after-school programming will considerably decrease the, uh, the amount of juvenile deviancy and crime had within the community. It will also increase property value. So community centers as a part of a park system are, are a driver of property value increase. And according to our uh, 2017 Washington State Governmental Co Community Initiative, homes within a quarter mile of a park are 10% more valuable on average. So it is only beneficial for Parkland to potentially create and place their community center within it to increase the value of the property around the community center. It will also increase 
the cultural diversity of the area. So without any centralized community spaces or uh, to interact or socialize, separations among community groups begin to form and solidify. So without access to community spaces, cities run a higher risk of enabling urban segregation. Without these community spaces for people to meet different people of uh, different cultural identities, there is no way for a community to outreach and to uh, collaborate with all of its community members. There's just no way for without these stipulations and measures put in place. So after doing some digging, I realized that Parkland actually has a community center plan but it is not what you think it might be. Parkland's community plan or community initiative is for the entire Parkland Midland Spanaway plot. So their wanting, their vision is to increase public access to public owned waterfront, uh, traffic, uh, decrease tra traffic flows and make it more safe and everything like that. So this is a very lovely diagram of what their plan would be, but to boil all of these points down, According to the Parkland State Initiative on the Pierce County website, they wish to develop an economically strong community centers to for each space. So this is not just for Parkland. Their plan is for Parkland, Midland, and Spanaway within each sectored area. Um, they each with a distinct image, character, a bold architectural form that provide a mixture of commercial, civic, residential uses along with pedestrian-oriented auto uh, auto friendly shopping and service needs of community residents and the surrounding communities will partially satisfy community housing needs so really they don't necessarily want to build a community center they're wanting to create according to the community uh pierce county uh website the community center designation which they have used as a location for the community center has a significant retail complex around it, which develops a concentration of other commu uh, commercial offices and services of high density residential development. So the higher the foot, they've surveyed the entire area of Parkland and found this one high density, high foot traffic area to create not a community center, but more of a shopping mall, which is great, but not what a community center not what my plan would be for this community center. So my plan would be to create a specific building, a designated building, just a whole uh, uh, space for to provide resources to its residents and visitors without placing a monetary value on entry. So this uh, space would be for public access, would be for community resources, recreational use, would be for community meetings and create and uh, to create uh, a more localized center that is free for all use. Now, to back up my proposal, there's a lot of theory that I could have gone into, but the two theories that really uh, aided in my presentation and my proposal the most, the first is architecture of serendipity theory. According to Cass Sunstein, he suggests a group uh, for a group to be healthy, some level of diversified interaction must be put in place. The architecture of serendipity theory really focuses on the idea of having a space uh, for strangers to meet, collaborate, and to create. Based on this uh, art article, uh, according to Cass Sunstein, uh, and most of his research, this is more of a uh, uh, quote based on his research on universities and uh, higher education and institutions, some universities, stores, television broadcasters, and governmental offices promote the echo chamber. Others promote serendipity. My suggestion is for good lives, good universities, and good societies, the power of self-sorting is at best a mixing uh, mixed blessing. However, unpleasant and jarring they can be, unchosen, anticipated encounters play a crucial role. They are indispensable, not only to education, but also to citizenship itself. So it is very, very important for all of these uh, spaces to have a centralized uh, area to meet new people. Basically, making a community center, uh, community centers uh, without a proper commingling measures, 
uh, put a risk of self-segregation and echo chambering creation. So that really ties into the idea of cultural diversity. But the second theory that I have was collaboration theory. This was brought up, or more specifically, discourse theory of citizenship by Rob Assen, also known as collaboration theory, is uh, boiled down into group collaborative efforts result in higher satisfaction in the product. By making a community center project a community project, it will encourage communal participation in the creation and upkeep of the center and provide a sense of communal responsibility and pride. Or more specifically, when the groups of individuals could interact freely, the dynamic of the group shifted and status among the group uh, became apparent. After providing the measures for the individuals to collaborate, everyone who participated relied feelings of accomplishment and pride. Both of these theories uh, rely or tie into the idea of global or democratic citizenship, focusing on the group and the whole rather than the prosperity of the self. With having both of these theories as a global, as a democratic citizen, we are pushing by creating a community center, you are then providing and uh, amply um, enabling a more democratic citizenship of your community members. So by uh, creating, and we now know where the, our, our location of the space is in the same exact kind of designation, we would be using that space, but um, more as a high tra traffic area to create a centralized area. But now we need to find who, who's gonna be able to support us. <laughs> where are we gonna find our money? Ooh. We've got, um, our financial support, which was a part of Home Depot, Wells Fargo, and Safeway. So, but all three of these are financial backers. When finding financial supporters, I had to make sure that all businesses had a physical location in Parkland or Tacoma, and that they had some sort of community engagement focus stated in either their mission statement or vision statement. And according to each contributor's website, Home Depot provides community impact grants up to about $60,000. Safeway um, has a national foundation which provides community funds up to $35,000. And Wells Fargo provides a local grants up to $15,000. And all of these uh, businesses are located within the Parkland Tacoma area and have a community outreach and local grant focus. So if we were to apply for any of these uh, so financial supporters, we would be able to uh, so ground up nearly $100,000 for this project. But not only do we need financial support within this project, but we need the community support. We need to be able to create this coalition of leaders for a collaboration uh, effort, a collaborative effort amongst Parkland citizens. So the two largest community supporters that I found would be Tacoma Museum Glass and Sprinkle Recreation Center. As I just said, Sprinkle Recreation Center is, a, uh, is the only recreation center here, and it has acted as Parkland's main source of community-based engagement for the last 20 years. However, according to Pierce County Recreation Guidelines, Sprinker is for recreational use only. Residential resources and services are not provided through the center. And there have been several reports of loitering around the premises, five reports within the last year um, alone, according to the Pierce County Judicial Reports. And the partnership of Pierce County Recreation Center and Parkland Community Center would be mutually beneficial for both of them. So then we would also have a, according to uh, Tacoma Muse uh, Museum of Glass vision statement, they create opportunities for those who cannot create for themselves. We support projects that provide community for those who have little support. The Museum of Glass has financially supported so many local uh, service businesses within the last five years. And I believe that this project aligns very closely with their values and the values of this project. So 
we have now created, we've realized the benefits of a community center. We've realized the deficits, why it would benefit Parkland exactly. We have these two theories that prove that creating a community center would, in, uh, would enable a global citizenship or democratic citizenship of your citizens. We've created, we've found several community supporters that would fund this community center and community supporters that would allow for a collaborative con uh, initiative uh, for the community. Now I had to put that all into some proposals. So my community and my governmental document was actually about six pages long. I addressed it directly to the Pierce County office, more specifically Doug Richardson and the district six office. So I had all of my closing statements and everything like that. But I additionally created a more watered down version in a brochure that I would potentially be able to go out into the community and hand to local leaders, uh, local supporters, and be able to hand off a boiled down version of this governmental proposal into a brochure. So my first part of this brochure would be the Parkland Community Center first, and then on the back of it, it has how you can support this proposal. Either visiting the office, calling, uh, Jay Inslee and being able to, not Jay Inslee, calling Doug Richardson, um, emailing him or contacting me directly. And on the back it says, community centers are made to be a place to gather, learn, serve, and create. Help us in building a better future, future for Parkland. And on the back, it has exactly what I have just stated right now. Why it is important and why Parkland in general should have a community center where it will be and what the Pierce County plan is currently opposed to this plan. And the actual center would be located on the intersection of 160th Street and uh, Pack Ave. And who is going to support this proposal? And there we are. Does anybody have any questions? Ah. Well then, thank you so much for watching. And that end of my capstone presentation. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your year.